God is love. And when we live in love, no matter what happens, when we're not consumed, we're not troubled by our thoughts and our emotions. And, yeah, but you don't know what they did. You don't know what they said. Uh, you, you don't know how they treated me. You, you don't know how they looked at me. I know how you look at me. I mean, I... But when you say, when you say, listen, I'm going to love anyway. I'm going to love anyway. You remember the lady? That's what's her name. I forget the name right off the top of my head. Was in the prison camps in, in Nazi Germany. Corey, Corey Ten Boom. I remember her story. It's so impacting. I remember uh, watching an old um, video of her uh, on the uh, Jim Baker show where she was telling her testimony, telling her story, where her family members, I don't I remember how many, but most of her family members were killed by the Nazis in the concentration camp, and somehow she made it through. And many, many years later, she was at a meeting, a conference of some kind, I forget what it was all about, but anyway, the man who was the head that, that ordered the executions in the prison camp was there. And she said, Lord, I mean, you know, I mean, when, when you hurt like that, you want justice and you want it now. And she said, Lord, I, I, I don't know how I can love and forgive that man for what he did. But she said, I know that you can. And so I'm just going to trust in you that your love will work through me to love and forgive that man who did such horrendous things and who hurt me deeply. And you know, she loved that man and forgave him. How's that possible? love of God she could have been you know uh, taking Jesus words about don't let your heart be troubled don't get emotionally all upset don't think on you know all how terrible it was and how terrible it is and how bad you know don't think on any of those things don't let it get to you just walk in love because when you walk in love, you walk in God. And when you walk in God, the impossible can happen. Amen. Amen. Okay, you can stand up now. <laughs> Praise God. Whatever problems you'll face this week... They do not, cannot, will not in any way dictate what your life is or will be. First of all, they're not your problems. I always like what Jesse Duplantis says, you know, he said, yeah, I get, to, I get problems in the mail, I get bills, I get stuff in the mail. He said, I just do this. I said, Jesus, you got mail. <laughs> See, when you're in God, guess what? The problems that face you are no longer yours. They're now his. And you just become the instrument of walking out what God would do in the situation. And then you see the God results out of your situation rather than your way of doing it. Amen? <laughs> Thank you, Lord.